general engine than just sample code, and it's 3D Mark. So this is a machine running a shipped 11 driver, available to anyone, you can download it. Uh, and my team working with FutureMark took 3 Mark and instrumented it a little bit. So what you see on the top is just a visualization of the rendering workload across multiple cores. On 11, the main application thread represented on thread zero uh, is vastly greater overhead than the, than the secondary threads on one through three. This is obviously not ideal. The latency and the time, the wall clock time necessary for generating a frame is solely determined by that top thread and work isn't efficiently getting paralyzed across all the cores. It gets even worse if we subtract out the application workload. So the application is getting paralyzed, but this is it looking just at the graphic stack. So all the CPU overhead, starting from entering the D3D API, executing through the graphic stack, user mode driver, kernel mode driver, that's what it looks like. There's almost no work occurring on the secondary threads. All the graphics workload, all the command generation is happening on thread zero. Let me turn that off for a second. Just as a, a note, you'll see on the top there are, you know, the main CPU overhead is indicated with zeros. The pluses indicate serial operations inherent in the design of 3D Mark. We just want to make sure you could see that we didn't go and do unfair optimizations to 3D Mark. Any optimization that could have been done to the 11 path in addition to the 12 path was left alone. When I show you the 12 version, you'll see that same serial overhead still exists. That's just how they design the app. This is D3D12. As you can see, we have almost perfect scaling across the cores, except for the serial workload the application was designed to run. First of all, it's quite a bit faster than, than 11. Those are the CPU efficiency gains that we designed into 12. Uh, so, and then the, multi the, the scaling across cores, you can also see. If I switch it to show the graphics overhead, it's evenly split across the cores. You might also notice that we've gone from two and a half or even three milliseconds per frame on each of the cores down to 0.7 milliseconds per frame. Vastly improved overhead, vastly better scaling across the cores. Now there's one more detail. I wanted to show you what bundles can really do in a real engine. And this is with bundles turned on. So let me turn them off. We've just gone from 0 0.6, 0 0.7 milliseconds per frame to 1.3, 1.4 milliseconds per frame across all the cores. So we were effectively doubling our CPU efficiency with bundle usage. When we ported 3 Mark, actually, we were trying to figure out how to retrofit bundles efficiently into, into the engine. And what we did, actually, is we ripped out a bunch of redundant state set logic in 3 Mark and replaced it with a bundle cache. So we aren't actually recording multiple draws in each bundle. It's just a single draw. What's getting bundled together are the shader state, the, the table changes and the constant buffer changes, along with a single draw referring to them. So we got 2x performance improvement just bundling state change with draw. Okay, 